Hello and welcome to Saki Tech. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to switch the custom recovery of your HTC One from a Clockwork Mod recovery to TWRP. Okay, the first thing you want to do is you want to go to my website post, uh, for which I'm going to leave a link in the description below. And uh, once you're there, just go to Required Files to Download. Okay, the first thing you want to get is the Android ADT bundle. So click that. Click download the SDK and then choose whether you have uh, 32 bits or 64 bits and click download the SDK bundle. Once you're done, move back to the website post and this time because we are switching to TWRP, click the TWRP recovery. This is going to take you to a long list of all the TWRPs available for all phones. So you want to scroll down to the HTC One the version that you have I have the M7 so I'm gonna click that and down here just click download the newest dot IMG file from here and that's gonna download your uh, TWRP recovery actually that is gonna take you to this website scroll down for the newest version of TWRP so after you have downloaded all the files put them into one folder I put mine into the recovery folder okay so here's the unzipped file of the ADT bundle when you download ADT bundle it is going to be zipped so make sure you unzip it and then here's the recovery file so let's go inside the ADT bundle and keep digging in until you find the platform tools folder then copy this and go back to the root and paste it right here after that you can delete the ADT bundle takes a couple seconds and then take the recovery file, cut this file or copy it, and put it inside platform tools. Now we're going to switch over to my phone real quick and show you the next step. Okay, so back on your phone, make sure you power off the phone and make sure it is connected to your computer using a micro USB cable. And now we're going to go into the fast boot mode. Okay, so power that off and then I press volume down and power at the same time to go into the boot loader mode okay and uh, on the boot loader mode you'll see the fast boot is selected in blue highlighted press power to go into it and now we're in the fast boot mode let's switch back to my computer okay so once your phone is connected to your computer and it's in fast boot mode you can come back to your computer and what you want to do is you want to go to this platform tools folder and uh, press shift on your keyboard and right click anywhere in the white space and click open command window here and just to make sure that the fast boot is working type in fast boot devices and you should see a random number like this that says fast boot right next to it if it's not working it's gonna be blank okay so all you have to do now is type in fast boot flash recovery and then type in the entire name of the recovery file that we moved over to this folder okay so let me let me just copy and paste this you can type it manually as well paste and do not forget to add the dot IMG extension okay and then press enter it only takes a couple seconds for the recovery to be sent to your phone and replace the old one so this method automatically replaces the old recovery so let's switch back onto my phone and see how we can um, uh, take a look at the new recovery Okay, so back on your phone, let's go back to the boot loader mode. It's highlighted in blue, so if you press power, it will go back to boot loader. And then this time, we want to use the volume down key to highlight recovery in blue. And then press power to go into recovery. And as you can see, this is the TWRP recovery that currently replaced the clockwork mod recovery that I had before this so basically this process is also reversible so you can swap recoveries back and forth using this method very very easily this is no big task alright so that brings us to the end of this video uh, go ahead and subscribe to my channel for more videos to come 
Uh, give me a thumbs up if you liked this video. And also you can go ahead and connect with me socially on Google+, Facebook, and Twitter, for which all the links are in the description below. Thank you again, and I'll see you the next time. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, just throw them down in the comments section below.